Okay, in this video I'll show you how to successfully connect Hyper Terminal to a Firelight series panel. This could be the MS9200 or the MS9600 or the UDLS version of both of those panels. So basically, uh, once you have Hyper Terminal on your computer, it comes with Windows XP and older. If you have Windows 7 or 8, uh, join my Facebook group, which I'll have a link in the description of this video and message me and I'll send you a uh, file that you can download the uh, hyper terminal for your Windows 7 or 8. So once you have it successfully installed on Windows, open it up and it's going to ask you to do a new connection here. So we will just name this Firelight. Hit OK. Select the COM port that you're going to connect to the panel with. In this example we'll just use COM1. And when you get into the port settings, the bits per second for Firelight should be 19,200. Your data bits will be 7. Parity will change it from none to even. Stop bits leave it at 1. And flow control change from hardware to none. Tap apply. OK. Once you're in this screen with those settings all set up and you have your cable successfully tied from your COM port to the fire control panel. If you press enter on your keyboard you should get the display to appear here in this box. And once again Hyper Terminal is a useful tool for capturing information off the panel whether it be pulling a loop off to find out what devices are currently installed in the system or capturing text for a test. And you can go to transfer here and set up a capture text command so that you can in fact save all that information into a text file on your desktop and you can email it to a customer or another technician or print it when you get back to the office. So it's a really valuable tool to have and those are the settings for Hyper Terminal with a Firelight MS9200, MS9600 and the UDLS version of those panels. Be sure to uh, join our group, the link's in the description and check out our, our other videos regarding fire alarms.